So, so far we have seen degrees of time complexities and uh, how to calculate the time complexity. For example, O of n, O of log n, what is constant time, what is O n log n, O n square, O n cube. Now these are called worst case time complexity. So if we divide the time complexity in three parts, so what we say that we can say best case possibility or time complexity, worst case and the average case. Everyone should know about what do you mean by best case, worst case and the average case. And when we write a algorithm practically, which one is that we have to consider, which one we have to take it a serious case so that whenever we are writing any logic or any algorithm or any program, we just need to make sure that my code, that algorithm is actually handling the best case, worst case and the average case. But how exactly is it handling the worst case scenarios? For example, you assume that, okay, there is a couple of some layman example. Let's talk about it. First of all, that the best case should be denoted by the, that we have already uh, seen with respect to big, a uh, worst case should be denoted with the big O. Okay. So how to pronounce it? Big O like this, like this, we have to use it like big O, we have to use it. Average case is denoted with big theta. Okay. I'll write it for you. This is a theta. Mathematically, we use it, this naming convention or this, uh, this notation that we actually use it. Best case is used with the omega. So this is like omega. So I'm writing, this is with omega. Okay. So if you really want to calculate the best case scenario, in most of the books that you will see that omega of one, like that, the worst case scenario, we say, okay, big O of N, the average case scenario means the theta of N, like this, we have to use it. But let's talk about with some examples. For example, let's see, let's see there is a container or let's see there's a, this is a bucket. In this particular bucket, there are number of balls are available. See these number of balls are there or some elements are there, some balls are there. But you have to find out, let's see this particular ball, this color ball, All right? You have to find a specific element or a specific element from the array. Then what will you do in the best case? The moment you come in this particular jar, in the first attempt itself, though you find this particular element, it means the best case scenario, I found it. I don't need to proceed further. I don't need to iterate it. In the first attempt itself, I found that particular element. But same case, if you see the worst case, let's see this particular ball is available here. And then you are checking one by one. And then you have put, let's see, n number of attempts that you have done. And then after hundreds of attempts that you are able to find this particular ball it's placed over here or let's see is available here in this particular container so in that case you have to perform n number of searches that you have to perform same case let's see in the average case scenario in case of average okay fine after let's see couple of attempts you have found this particular ball is which is available here then in that case let's see it's taking around let's see n by two time or some n by m time it is taking so that is called the average case so best case means the moment we see the element and immediately in the first attempt itself, we are finding the element. Average case means, okay, fine. Here and there we are putting some more efforts and then we are finding the element. And the worst case is that, okay, n number of attempts we have found that element that is called the worst case scenario. But for example, let's see, <clears throat> let's take a more practical example. Let's see, this is the unsorted array that I have, right? In this particular unsorted array, there are number of elements are there. Let's see some thousand of elements are there. So let's see index is from zero to 999. So in the best case scenario, let's see, I'm looking for element 10. I'll check it. I'll come to this particular position. I'll check that. Okay. Yeah. 10 is available. I found it. It means in the first attempt itself, I found that element. And then the best case scenario, this is called a best case scenario. In the worst case scenario that, okay, I'll keep checking where is 10. Let's see 10 in that case, 10 is available here, not here. I come here and then I'll keep checking that element is there or not. So I'll keep checking each and every man. And then I found it. Okay. Yeah. It's available at the 999th position. So this is called the worst case scenario. And then average case scenario, let's say 10 is not available here. Then in that case, 10 is available here. Then I'll say, okay, fine. Keep checking. And after a couple of attempts, then I'm getting 10 available here. Let's see in the first attempt, I found that element. So I'll say, this is my Omega of one, for example, in this case, the worst case scenario means element is available here, then in that case, big O of n number of times I have to iterate this particular array. But let's see in case of uh, average case scenario, after a couple of elements, I found that element. So I'll say, okay, 
theta of let's see n number of times I have to perform. Then in that case, I found that particular element. Let's take some more some more uh, simple examples. Let's see if you are in India and you really want to travel from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. How will you do that? In the best case scenario, you will just start from this location to this location and then you will just take this straight road and then you will take all the shortcuts and everything. Then you will avoid tolls and everything and then you just take the shortcuts and then you are reaching. So this is called a best case scenario. Okay, I'll say this is called a best case scenario. You have reached here. But in the average case scenario, let's see, you go to some other place. You go to Delhi. Delhi to, let's see, Rajasthan. Then you go to, let's see, some other state. And then other state you are entering to Karnataka. And then Karnataka to, to Tamil Nadu that you are reaching it over here. So this is what? I'll say, okay, fine. This is my average case scenario. Then in the worst case scenario that, okay, these two roads are not working or these two roads are, you are not aware of it. And then you are very new. You never traveled from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. And then in that case, you take some other road. And then you say, okay, fine. I go to some, let's see, I go to some other state, other state to, let's see, some other state, then go to this state, then go to another state, then go to this state, then go to this state, then reaching to Karnataka and then reaching to Tamil Nadu over here. Let's see, for example, like this. So what is this? I have taken... A bigger path, a larger path in that case. So I'll say this is my worst case uh, scenario. Ultimately, the result is we are reaching it over here. So same thing in the programming also, same thing in the algorithms also. When we write a specific algorithm, we have to make sure that, okay, how exactly my application or that algorithm is uh, working fine in case of worst case scenarios. The graph representation over here, that graphical representation of the best average and the worst case. What we say, okay, fine, let's see for n number of elements, it's taking the best case over here. But the worst case obviously will take more time over here. But in the average case, it's always between the best case and the average case. So here it's coming between over here, right? The average case is denoted by theta. Worst case is denoted by big O. And the best case is denoted by omega over here. Remember this. If you see some examples here, see this table. The time complexity for the array sorting algorithms, right? And here three columns are there, best case, average case, and the worst case. So whenever we have to consider, let's see, there are millions of records are there. Sometime in my application, let's see on Amazon, there are thousands of products are there or millions of products are there and I have to search a specific product. If I'm checking that, okay, which algorithm or which sorting algorithm or which search algorithm that I have to use, that I have to consider my worst case scenario also. That it's there is no guarantee that the moment I'm looking for the MacBook, it's available on the first position. That in that case, that's the best case, right? But you have a larger and a larger number, and then the element is available at the let's say the last position, for example, or the product is available at the last index. That in that case, that we have to keep traverse or keep sorting the specific array. So that's what all the sorting algorithms or different search algorithms having the three possible scenarios: best, average, and the worst and then what we take it seriously we always try to make sure that whatever the code that we are writing make sure that my worst case scenario is uh, having a better performance so what we have to take what is a normal way of calculating the time complexity that's why we call it always big o of worst complexity so that's what if you see which one is the best one among all the sorting algorithm in the table if you see it over here among all these guys among all these guys you see that a merge sort or you can say Time sort and the heap sort is having O of n log n. And if you see the same uh, diagram or same graph over here, n log n somewhere is better than O n square and O n cube. So that's why you go back to this particular table here once again, that uh, here we have O n log n, which is a better performance as compared to O n square with all these things. So that's what whenever we have to sort, the merge sort is one of the quickest sort or time sort or the heap sort is one of the best uh, sorting algorithm that we always consider. I hope it's clear. What is the difference between best, worst and the average case scenario? If someone is asking you, please explain certain basic examples. And then we always take consideration with the worst case. We have to take this worst case scenario always uh, seriously so that we can write the better optimized code with our algorithms. Thank you so much.